Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about the Wise Launcher. I wanted to show you basically how it works, its features, and how it can help you. Now, um, if you want to get access to the Wise Launcher and you don't have it, you can go to audiokinetic.com and once you'll get there you'll see a page like this or something that looks a lot like it. And you can go to the top right hand corner here, you'll see a download Wise button, click on that, brings you to this page. Uh, from this page, you can choose Mac or PC, depending on what computer you are on. And then you click on this download Wise Launcher button here. And uh, it'll prompt you to download a file. You download the file, you install the file, and then you are here. Now, once you have the Wise Launcher installed, you might get a prompt. Uh, well, you most certainly will get a prompt to log in if you do not by chance, or maybe you have clicked on the prompt and it took it away, whatever. Um, you'll have at the top right hand corner, you can see here my name. Uh, I'm already logged in, but you can click on login here and you'll be able to log in. Uh, now, um, when you do load the Wise Launcher, you'll see the homepage and this is where you have a bunch of cool stuff going on about things that are happening with WISE, uh, new blogs, press releases in the in this section here for news and blog feed. You have community videos, uh, videos that we post up here to talk more about WISE, and then you have getting started, so WISE 101 videos if you're following the WISE 101 course. And we also have a updated list of the most recent questions on our community Q&A. Uh, then, moving on to the projects tab. So in the projects tab, this is where you'll see all the projects on your system and you'll be able to get a bunch of information about those, open them in different versions and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, I have version control basic. Uh, I know the project version is 2017.1.2. It has a license key attached to it, uh, contrary to, as you want, uh, if you look at Wise Audio Lab here, it has no key, so it'll show you free trial. So you'll know if you have to attach a key to which project. Um, you have the show more here, show, um, you can hide it with show less. It'll show you where the project is on your system. And then you have the open with wise, and then it'll give you the version of the project. Um, then you can have this drop down menu if you want to open it in a more recent or older version, depending on what you want to do. Uh, and then you can, uh, you can click on that and it'll open it in that version. Um, also, you have open and containing folder, so it's basically a shortcut to bring you to the path that I showed you here. Um, then you can zip the project. At the time of taping this video, uh, that is not a Mac feature for our uh, OS X uh, version of the Wise Launcher. Um, it might be when you're watching this video, so just try it. If it's there, it's there. If it ain't, it is not. So it'll come at some point but it might not be when you are looking uh, at this point. So um, moving on to this little key icon here, this is where you can attach a license key to the project. Um, so if you are logged in as I am here, it'll give you access to all of the license keys that uh, of all the projects that you are on uh, or that your account is on. So do make sure that you are on the correct uh, account. Some people have different work addresses and so on and so forth. and uh, you might have forgotten to log into your correct Audio Kinetic account, so the key might not show up immediately if that's the case. If not, it'll show up and it'll be there. So as you can see here, I have AK test. This is the key that I attach to it. Let's say I want to remove it and I don't want that key to be on this project anymore. You can remove it, then you can set a new project key. I only have one, so you'll only see this one, but you you could have more than one on your project if you're running more project, more than one project or license at the same time. Um, and then you can contact sales through here and it'll prompt you to, it'll bring you to the website and the contact form if you want to get in touch with us. Uh, and then you can view license details, what's going on with the license and what it has and uh, so on and so forth. And that is basically it. You can open a project manually. If you, it's not automatically showing up in the list of projects here, you can do open other. And then you, if you know where it is, you go and you browse for it and you can open it. And uh, that is how you open manually a project. And one last thing I wanna show you is how to update your license key. So if you do attach a license key, like I can do here, it's a project license, AK test. Um, 
you uh, it, the key might have been updated since you did attach it. So you simply go here. Well, the wise launcher is telling you with this blue icon here that uh, you might need to update it anyway. So you just click here, update to the latest version of wise, uh, sorry, of the latest, uh, latest from the license server. And that is it. And as you can see, it moves. So if I show it here, that's it. Um, all right, so wise tab. So this is where you install WISE from. Um, so as you can see, I have a bunch of versions here. If you want to install a new version or another version that is not already in this list, if you have already a few there, uh, you go down, down, and then you see install new version here. Click on the drop down here. You'll have a bunch of versions that are accessible to you. And then you select a version and then uh, it'll tell you if it's already installed or if it isn't. Let's say I want to install, I don't know, this one, is it installed? No, there you go. And then you click install. And then uh, wait a little bit. And then you choose what you want to install with it. So samples, what platforms, and all of that good stuff. Now, all right, so that's how you install WISE. Once, it's, once it is installed, you will see it show up here. And uh, so you can have access to open it with either a project from the project page, or you can uh, do launch WISE from here. And then from WISE itself, you can open a project. Um, all right, so you have a few icons here. So a few features that are through here that are important to know. So you have a drop down menu here. So you have access to uh, software that we usually, it was in the install folder of WISE. So you have to like browse and manually go there. So the multi-channel -tra creator, the WISE wave viewer, the file packager, uh, they're all right here now. So you can just simply open them. Uh, you can also open a specific project with this version. So again, this is, like I showed you, you can do this from here. If you install a more recent version and you want to upgrade to that version, you can do it from here. It'll end up being the same thing. But you can also do open project, and if that project doesn't have the same version, it ends up uh, being the same thing, like I said. Um, you can create a new project as well, and then that project will show up in the project page. Um, and that's basically the drop down menu here. And of course, launch wise. Um, so yeah, uh, then you have this little question mark here, which basically brings you to the release notes of this version. So let's say we go to this one, it'll open this and then you see all the release notes for this version. And yeah, so it's pretty nifty. Uh, you can get access to that info really quick. Uh, when you click on the wrench here, uh, you have access to modify the installation. So if you want to add more stuff to the installation. If you forgot to install some, some samples, uh, maybe you didn't install the source code, you want to do it here, or you, you just decided to add a new platform to your game and you need to add it when uh, it's you licensed it and you're all good to go. You want to add it here so you can have access. Um, so that's basically what modify installation does is you already have a specific version of WISE installed and um, you want to modify it and that's it. So you have other for, uh, options here. So you can create a desktop shortcut, open the containing folder, set environment variables, um, and then you can uninstall this version. Maybe you're like me and I have way too many here and you want to clean some of this clutter. Uh, so you just uninstall from here. Simple as that. Uh, okay, yeah, down here you can install the version of WISE, but I forgot to mention that you can also select a version and create an offline installer. So let's say you're teaching at a conference, you don't know how the Wi-Fi is going to be, and you want to like give USB keys to everybody to install WISE and use WISE and learn WISE. Um, well, you can create an offline installer and give them access to that, and they won't uh, need access to the internet, and they'll be able to install WISE and use WISE from that. Um, so yeah, so this is where you do it. You choose your version here, and then you click on here. Uh, moving to the plugins tab. So as you might have seen, if I clicked on the wrench here, there was manage plugins. So we did change uh, the way that plugins work in the WISE launcher. So we now have a plugins tab. So now you will be able to know uh, on each version how much plugins you have for each version. So as you can see on this version, I have all these plugins installed. For this one, I have these and so on and so forth. Um, if you want to add some plugins, you can do it both places. It'll bring you to the exact same page. So you can do manage plugins on a specific version. So if I go on this one, um, 
and then I do this, and uh, it'll bring it to this page like we were. But then if you go to Add Plugins, this is where it brings you. So this page is a page that you will also see after you installed WISE, or it's the second page when you're installing WISE, after you selected your platforms and samples. And you basically check the plugins that you want to add. And it's as simple as that. The size of it updates in real time. It shows you where it's installing. And then you click Install, and it'll add them to the installation. So in this case, I'm adding them to an installation that was already made. But it's the same process, and it's the same page when you're installing a version of WISE from scratch. All right, so you also have the Unity and Unreal Engine tabs. So these tabs will give you access to all the Unity and Unreal Engine projects on your system, and you'll be able to open those projects from our WISE launcher. You'll also be able to open the WISE projects associated with them once you have integrated WISE into them. Now, um, if you want to integrate WISE into a project, you basically go to either tab if you want to integrate into your Unreal project or Unity project. Let's do it in Unity here. You'll see that I have the version of Unity here. I have the path here. And I could already open the Unity project because it was already created. So it goes without saying that you have to create your Unity and Unreal project beforehand. Once that's done, you can integrate WISE into it. So you can do so from offline files. You just go to the arrow here, drop down menu, and integrate using offline files. Um, but if not, it's pretty straightforward. You just click on this button. It gathers the information that it needs to gather. And then we'll give you access to the integration page. It is uh, pretty straightforward. You choose, um, well, the Unity integration, you'll choose the most recent one by default. And you'll have access as well to select the deployment platforms that you want to integrate. And the rest you leave as default. And if you don't ha already have a prize project, you just leave the path empty. And it'll integrate and create a new WISE project and associate with it. Um, now, if you want to choose a different version of Unity than, uh, than this one, you can actually browse for the Unity installation. Uh, but again, this is all pretty straightforward because most of this just works out of the box. And in the 0.1% of cases, you might need to fiddle with these options. But if you do need to, um, you probably already know exactly where to go and what to do. So this is just an overview as well. So I'm not actually going to in click integrate and actually wait for it to integrate. But um, it's pretty straightforward. So same thing for Unreal Engine. The exact same thing. You can open Unreal. Can integrate wise into it shows the path and everything um what i forgot to mention is if your unity project is not showing up here you can do refresh maybe you created it with uh, the wise launcher open at the same time and um it just didn't show up you so you just do refresh and then it'll show up or if you want to browse for the project maybe it's on a usb key or hard drive and it's not showing up you can browse for the project uh, right here um, this is pretty cool. You can add the WISE demo game here uh, as well to, um, to the launcher. So you choose the version you want to download it. So the WISE demo game is a cool sample that you can actually play around with and see how we integrated uh, WISE into it. And then you can download offline integration files. So remember how I mentioned that you can uh, integrate with using offline files. So again, it's in a situation where maybe you're at a conference and you don't have Wi-Fi and you want to install WISE and you want to always, you want to have that installer installer on your computer. You can create that installer through here. So download offline integration files. It's going to download all the files, and from there you can go down here and integrate using offline files. And that's basically it. Also, um, actually, well, the last tab is the samples tab, but I wanted to go back to the WISE version here. And like I mentioned, if you do modify, um, give me a sec, it's working. Oh, actually, no, this is the wrong version I chose, sorry. So I'm gonna do modify here. And then I'll retrieve the info from the server. And right here. So, um, Right this section here, so you have samples. Once you have selected these and you have installed these with WISE, you'll have access to them through the samples tab. So if I go to the WISE section here, and then select a version that I know has samples, 
you'll see them show up here. And from here, you can run. Uh, you can run them. So you, cube is run from here. You can open cube and, and the wise project associated with it as well. You can open wise from here, the project associated with it, and so on and so forth. So that's the samples that you actually download and install at uh, when you're installing wise. You can also install the Wise Audio Lab, which is the Unreal demo, uh, and same thing for the Wise Adventure game, which is the Unity uh, Wise demo project. So you can get access to them here. You can download the version that you want, or let's, uh, I'll show you here. Wise Audio Lab has more versions, so you can download the version of the Wise Audio Lab you want, and then they'll show up through here. So they won't show up through samples in Wise here or anywhere else, but they'll show up here and you can open them in Unreal, you can modify the install, you can decide to open the project in a different version of WISE, and you can just run the, the WISE Audio Lab or the Project Adventure game as an executable so it doesn't. it's not running in the engine or in the Unity Editor or Unreal Editor. It'll just run as an executable. And you, then you can connect WISE to it and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, um, last thing I want to show you, so is the about section here. So you can do open log and this will give you access to the wise log. So it's sometimes if you're maybe dealing with support uh, and they ask you for your log from the wise launcher, this is where you get it. And if not, you want access to online documentation or the launcher documentation, which has a few more details uh, that I'm not covering in this video. So you can click on here and it'll bring you there. And that's basically it. All right, so that's it. So if you wanna get access to the wise launcher, audiokinetic.com. And from the Wise Launcher, you can download Wise and start playing around. All right, see you next time.